I can't believe you have this. My dad used to have one. Well, you're just in luck, little missy, because $120 gets you the unit, all the hookups, and we throw in a free copy of Space Invaders for the Atari 2600, the third best version of Space Invaders in 1981. And once again, we give you all the hookups and a controller. I'll be right back, okay? My name is Sean Paul, entrepreneur extraordinaire and sole owner of Midget Pawn. Big money these days is in retro video game collecting. This here's Carl Flarkson, my best friend and my sole employee. We businessmen, so don't you dare call us resellers. Hey Carl, there's a sucker there that wants to pay 120 for an Atari, but uh, we're out of controllers. Got an idea, man? That'll do. And voila, space inviters. Tight. Now I know what you're thinking. We're trying to pull one over this poor girl. But don't worry. Sega controllers, they work on Atari. Why? I don't know. But I look like a fucking technical genius, son. See what we got today, huh? What's with all the fing controllers again, man? We gotta do something about this. And when you're buying in bulk, one of the things that stocks up pretty quick is controllers. We're talking NES, SNES, Genesis, Xbox, any retro console. They usually came with two controllers, or most people just bought a second one. Because that was back in the golden age when multiplayer, you had to go to your friend's house, or your friend comes to your place. There was none of that online game stuff. So anyways, when people bring in consoles for trades, they usually have a bunch of controllers. And we have tons of the stuff. And that's not even getting into the third party shit. Crap pile. We used to charge $20 a piece for these about two, three years ago, but nowadays people just don't want to pay that kind of price for a controller. I mean, what, am I supposed to throw them free with the console? God, people are cheap these days. We offer a service, man. People tend to forget that. If it wasn't for us, you'd find your games in the wild, in abundance, and not enjoy the simple and courteous service we offer. Yep, 75 bucks, buddy. I'm mean, five dollars short. Is that okay? Five dollars short, huh? If you come to my store with five dollars missing on the price of the item you want, are you fucking high? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you some kind of comedian? Do you have tickets for your show? I would like to come see your show because you're fucking hilarious, man. Five dollars off? Jesus Christ, man, if I start giving everybody rebates, man, I'm gonna have to cut in my profit, man, and I'm not gonna cut in my profit. Seriously, man, fuck you, fuck the horse you rode in on, and fuck your fucking mother for having such a stupid fucking ass child. Get the fuck out of my store. Get the fuck out. Five dollars? What the fuck are you coming to my store thinking five dollars, stupid ass mother fuck. And have a Merry Christmas. Man, we really gotta figure out something here. Because the last thing we want is to sit on a bunch of controllers and not be able to sell them. Or even worse, have a sale. I need me some hot Carl action up in this piece, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy Carl, he's a technical genius. When we was kids, he used to fix all our shit. Now, he works for me, living for bed and board. Alright. So if he can't come up with a way to turn this stuff around, nobody can. Do something with this, okay? I'm gonna go check the internet, alright? Okay, so while Carl comes up with a solution for the controllers, I gotta go online and put the word out that Midget Pawn is the place to go for your retro gaming needs, son.
Carl did it again, man. Put in lights in there, just a few cents more of parts, and we can sell these as custom controllers and ask, say, 30, 35, 45 dollars a piece. Man, now that's playing with power. Man, I love me some Christmas, man. No other time for year is good for us is Christmas. And thanks to Carl's revamp controller, Santa Claus is going to be good to us this year, for sure.